So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 241 and in this video we are talking about inheritance. This video will be an introduction to inheritance. But before we go there, let's watch here the keywords. And interesting is we have not the word inheritance here and we have also not the word derivative classes here, but we need to go there. So how we can go there, you click here on CPP reference com. We go to the start page, I think. And here on the start page, you click on language. And in language, we go to the section classes. And then here in classes, we go down to derivative class. This is the page which we need. And we will just start with the first line, but not in this video, because like I said, I want to make first an introduction to an inheritance. And the best part, inheritance is very easy to understand in general. The bigger problems are later more in the details, but in general, the understanding, it's very easy. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is actually just an extension. So if you uh, understand how to extend a class, then you know inheritance. But let's watch this a little bit closer. So I created here a class house. I skipped many parts <clears throat> and this one, a two and three numbers are representing functions, right? So I skipped all the parts. It's just for demonstration purposes. Then you can see this class house has so three functions. And here I have a shape of a house, right? And you can see the number one is a door because every house has uh, anyhow a door where we can go in. Then the number two is this one here is representing a window. Uh, almost every house has a window. So that's also a common thing. And this number three is representing a roof. So every house is has a roof, uh, different kinds of roof, but we know every house has a roof. So you can see this is more or less a common things what a house has. So I created this class here in C++ in our IDE. This is this one. And now I say after one week, perhaps I come back to this class here and say, hey, I have this class, but now I need to create a special house. What I mean with a special house, because here I started just with the word house. This is very general, right? A house, there are many different kinds of house. For example, let's call this house here a special house and this house is a hotel, right? I say this here, it should be a house which is a hotel. And this house here should be a house which is a family house. Uh, the difference is now that in a hotel people stay for some days or some weeks, but in a family house they live many years. So they are, you can see these two houses here have again something in common, which is they have a door, yes. Both have a door, they have a window, yes. Both have a window and they have a roof. Okay, they have different kind of roof, but they have a roof. But now this, the last thing what I want add to specialize what kind of house, this is not the same thing. And I call it here as a four. And now how we can make this very easy. Actually, I said inheritance has something to do with extension. So, okay. After one week I come here and say, okay, so you want just specialize this common house to something special. And the only difference is how this house is more or less used by people, right? Okay, then here is number four and I say, okay, I just open my house and I extend it. And we know how to extend a class, right? We just write another function here. And now we describe the difference about this house, perhaps here in this class. But this here, what I showed you right now is just how to extend a class. And we have to differentiate this later in this one class. And this one is not called inheritance. This one is called just extension. But if you understand what I did here, then you will understand now inheritance because inheritance means I do the same thing like here. I extend it. So I have again a common house, uh, I mean, a uh, house which has common uh, common 
uh, uh, let's say common things and later I want specialize this house but in when we use inheritance we make this a little bit different and then we jump to this side that was well, to this side so again I start when I use inheritance again with a class house this one here you can see I have here class house and this class house has again one, two, three. This is again the common things here, what all house has. And like here, I said after one week, I want specialize this house. Here, I just wrote here a number four. Very easy. I extend it. I open up the class. I added the functions for the different kinds of specialization. In inheritance on the other side, we are not doing this. We are not opening the style, the base house the the the, uh, the first class which we created we say no 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 you don't change here anything in this class house because now you won't make a specialization so you say now you make a thing which is not the same thing for example when i compare this both they have different functionalities so you have to separate them and what you are doing here is um, okay, again, I want make a class hotel. Okay, you will make a separate class for it. You start with class. You can see I created here a class and this time I called it hotel. And then interesting now here is you can see I just added here the number four, which means this is just the extension here. The question is, wait a minute. I created a new class and I added this uh, hotel sp uh, special uh, things, functions here, right? But what is now with one, two, three? And that's the point in inheritance. You use uh, now this inheritance notation, which is very simple, which I show you later. And then you can just make more or less inheritance means you make a link to the base class. So in my case, the base class is this class house, which has common features. And then I just make this little link. I symbolize this with this arrow here. And I say, okay, link this here together and just write that what I need in my new cl uh, class hotel. And this is the way how inheritance extended. So you can see the difference is here, you open up the class house, which you already created and add the functionalities in it. In inheritance on the other side, you create a new class. You, so you don't uh, change the Bain's class. You open up the new class and then you change only the new, uh, you add only the new functionalities. In this case, the number four. So here you can see I have to add here a little bit more because here in inheritance I say hey I want make a family house too so I create a class family house and then I add only uh, the new things interesting is this four and four is not the same that should be a five sorry for that because four is a hotel right and here I should write a five too sorry for that oh let's make here four so this is four, this is the hotel, and this is my family house. So that makes more sense, sorry for that. But you understand it, I extend it, I specialize it. The class hotel, I add it here. And class family house, I create again a new, um, a new class, and I just add the new thing, not more. I reuse all the things from the base house, with this inheritance, uh, let's call it trick here, <laughs> but later it's just a, a notation which we learn in the definition. And that's it. Inheritance means you don't uh, change the base class, you just create a new. And the nice thing about the new class is you call it right, right? So now I know this one is a hotel. I know when I use this class, I'm interested in a hotel and all his features. Here, I call it a family house. I'm only interested in now in a family house features, right? And 
that's the good point. So but, uh, before we go on, one question. Um, as a starter, you say, wait a minute, this one here looks a little bit more complicated than the first version here, right? I mean, when I have a class house, why not just open up the paste class and extend it like here? I just have to add this here. And the point here is, um, if you have one class house uh, like here, like I demonstrated it, uh, this one is a little bit, uh, yeah, not good as a demonstration because this number four, think about it, this are uh, every function here has, let's say, thousand line of code. So there are more functionality to it. So let's say this one has 10,000 line. This new thing has also 10,000 line. And think about it, you have not only one specialization like hotel, family house, let's say you have here 20, then you have one class with almost, I don't know, 500,000 or 1 million line of code, and it is just one class. And you can see here in this case, you have again the base class, so this kind of code you take, you reuse this here in this um, new class which you create through inheritance, but you just add the one thing you need. So let's say I add here just my 10,000 and that's it. In this case, like I said before, if you have here 20 more uh, specialization, you have here 1 million line of codes. Here I have just added, let's say this one has 10,000 line of codes. This number four, every specialization add also, let's say 10,000 line of codes. Or let's make it who not a thousand. Let's make one more zero more. Sounds better. And then I have here just because I will use in my project this uh, hotel version. So I have two hundred line of codes. But let's go to this class house here, and let's say I have twenty. So you can calculate this one hundred thousand with twenty, right? In one class, and that is crazy, right? You can see we have here 20 and then one, two, three, and five. This is the number which uh, of line of codes in one class you have. And this one, first of all, it's a big class and this can cause big problems later in um, debugging and uh, yeah, can cause uh, code problems. We, uh, we learned this um, in one of the principles, you should make a class very simple very maintainable and all this kind of stuff. And you can see this, uh, a class with 20, uh, how many lines we have here, two million lines of code, that will be not very maintainable. If you have here a problem, that will cause a problem. So this version is better. So you can see uh, alone from this perspective, it is less line of code here. I have 100,000 line code here. Here I had one more 100,000 line. Okay, my class, overall class will have 200 line of code because this class I'm not adding here. But let me show you one more thing. This is this inheritance is also not that perfect because you can inherit. Well, let me say here, I created this hotel class. After this hotel class, I can create again another class inherit from this one. So this one can go very high too. And let me show this here in the next section. Here you can see I created this class hotel that was this one, uh, this one here. Uh, no, sorry, I created again first the class house, but I created then the class hotel and this one has inherited from house like here. You can see this is exactly the thing, but later I decide, hey, I want that uh, the functionality, every hotel has a hotel manager or something like that. And I need all the functionalities of this hotel manager. What I do is I create again, like an inheritance, a class hotel manager here that would be creating a new class. And I use the same trick like here, I just inherit. So I make here something like this arrow, this say I inherit from this class hotel. But you can see this class hotel here inherits from class house. So which means you have, I need as a class uh, hotel manager, I need to only theoretically just the hotel, but the hotel already inherit from house. The file here goes up too. So 
I have now 100,000 line of codes. Class Hotel has now 200,000 line of codes. And let's say this one adds also 100,000 line of codes. This one goes now to 300,000 line of codes because I all time get this for free more or less. But this is the thing what you have to understand and still it's better than the version, the first version with uh, where you put all in and then you have one, uh, I don't know, two million line of codes and now I want class hotel manager in this two million line of codes as well. Then you have even two million and 100,000 line of codes, which is crazy. So, so you see inheritance has advantages, but you can also see if this uh, hierarchy level goes higher and higher, this is also crazy. We will talk about this uh, later, but in this uh, here, you should just understand inheritance is just extension. And we are not using this extension in one class. There are many reasons. One reason is alone the size of the code. And then of course, not maintainable and all the other problems which can cause. But if you understand this, that is just extension uh, of a class, then you understand inheritance. So it is very easy to concept. And I think <coughs> that's it what you should understand here at start. I think that's very good. Let me go here and show you this one. Uh, later we talk in the next video now a little bit more in detail with this here, the only first one here, and then I scroll here down and you can see they made here an example. They start and called the first class base. That's very important. Let's talk about this one too. So the first class here, it's most time called the base class or the parent class. So these two words you will hear a lot, parent class, base class. And the reason for that is because when I create here, for example, my specialization, like I showed you here, <clears throat> and I don't want, uh, again, my goal is I don't want uh, put all in one class. That's why I use inheritance, which means all the other functionality from the class house I get for free with inheritance. But that's why I am the child. I inherit all your things, not only the functions you inherit, also the variables and so on. <clears throat> so this again this is called the base class and the parent class and then this is called the child class or sometimes the subordinate class or something else there are different names we will uh, watch this a little bit closer later so <laughs> so you can see they call it here the base class and in this case they call it the derivative class yes the derivative class is more correct but that's why it's also called here the derivative classes um or, okay, derivative class or child class, you will hear these two names probably a lot of time. And you can see this looks also very simple. So you can see. And here, one more thing, how you inherit, you will only learn this little add. This little add here is my arrow. You can see this little arrow, this linking. I link my class to the base class. You link this like this little add to your new created class and you get all the other things from here for free. Uh, it's here. We will talk about this a little bit more in detail in the next video when we start uh, diving into the definitions and all this kind of stuff. So I hope you understand that inheritance in general is very easy because it is just an extension. But let me say you one more thing later it will be when we go to the details there are some rules and these rules are not we have to learn them that's why some people say it's not so easy because you have to be careful about the rules and like i said when you have something like a hierarchy which is very long and you don't know there are some special rules how they work later together with uh, I don't know let's say let's say how to destroy objects because we know a class is a class we create objects and then later they get destroyed and how they are interact with the parent class with the child class and all there are some little details which makes it let's say more complicated but I hope you see in general 
inheritance is just extension. You extend an existing class in a better way than this one. And here the last side note, I already mentioned it, many people don't like inheritance in C++ so much because the alternative is composition, because composition has, uh, like I said before, more advantages when it comes to details, because here you have to be careful about some details can cause problems when you are not following some specific rules. And we will talk about composition later too, but I hope that's so far it. All right, if you have any questions or anything like old time, write it in the comment section. And like I said in my uh, last video, inheritance should be not too difficult. And with that said, see you in the next video. Bye, good luck, and like old time, have fun and never give up.